That's another reaction, you know, Marvel Phase 6 and Phase 7, Slay, everything we know. See the cause I want to say, but that's about this and check this out. See this all, and check it out. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson. And lately, we've been talking a lot about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And today is no exception. We're going to be going over everything that has been rumored for Phase 6 and Marvel's Phase 7. The phase that will kick off mm -hmm. an entirely new saga for the Marvel Cinematic Universe after Secret Wars. We'll be going over what we can expect and everything that's been rumored and confirmed so far. Now, we're going to be going over a lot of projects today for Phase 6 and Phase 7. As I mentioned, some of these are rumored, some of these are confirmed, some have been reported on by some outlets but haven't been officially confirmed by Marvel Studios yet. But basically, the list we're going over today is a huge list of everything that's been posted online and compiled together and put on the internet. So, don't expect all of it to actually happen. Some of it will happen, but mm -hmm. don't expect everything because, of course, it is the internet, and we've even had some rumors going around lately from some, I'll do air quotes here, sources stating that Marvel Studios is intentionally putting out fake information to throw these insiders and leakers off. Which totally makes sense, because if you're trying to keep things secretive, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to throw some misinformation out there. But, like I said, I'm assuming at least half of this is true. And, of course, it's always fun to kind of just go over this and think about what could happen. And right now, I feel that if you were one of those people who weren't so satisfied with Phase 4, I feel like Phase 5, 6, and 7 are going to be better. Which, of course, is always exciting. So, let's go ahead and dive into all of these listed projects coming in Phase 6 and Phase 7. We'll start off, of course, with Phase 6. Phase 6 is going to start off with Wonder Man which is going to be a series. This is confirmed at this point. Right now, it is assumed that it will come during fall of 2024. Then in October 2024, Marvel Zombies, which is going to be an animated series. Here's where it gets cool. In October of 2024 as well, we could be getting a Ghost Rider special. This oh, is going to awesome. be done like Werewolf by Night. Apparently right now, a Nova special is in play at Marvel Studios as well. It really looks like Marvel Studios might be taking the route of specials to introduce new characters to the MCU, which I'm not against. Werewolf by Night worked very, very well. And fingers crossed, we do get a Ghost Rider special on October 2024. Also, in fall of 2024, Spider-Man Freshman Year, which is going to be an animated series, should be coming. However, recently, it seems like it's going through some trouble and might get delayed, so hang tight on that. Then, of course, in November of 2024, Deadpool 3. This, of course, is confirmed already, and everybody is super, super excited. Another one that seems really likely that has been going around lately, in fall of 2024, we could be getting a Vision Quest series. This, of course, will follow the events of Spectral Vision, who we saw in WandaVision at the very end, who kind of just took off and we haven't heard anything about him since. But he's still out there, and of course Marvel Studios is going to have to address that at some point. Now, in winter of 2024, there's a rumored Midnight Angels series. Now, they just introduced the Midnight Angels in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and Ryan Coogler has signed on for multiple Wakanda spin-off projects. This could be one of them. So, this seems likely, but still not officially confirmed. Then in December of 2024, we could be getting Spider-Man 4. This could be inaccurate because according to thecosmiccircus.com, the date for Spider-Man 4 right now should be July 12th of 2024, before this date. So this one is most likely wrong. But in January of 2025, we could be getting the Nova special. We know that's coming. We just don't know when yet. Hopefully in January. Then following Nova in February 2025, the Fantastic Four, we know this is confirmed. Then in spring 2025, there could be a Midnight Suns series. This would be kind of the darker, more supernatural side of the MCU and their team, which I'm sure everybody would love to see. Another project rumored for spring 2025 is Moon Knight Season 2. At yep. this point in time, it does seem like a Season 2 is pretty much all but confirmed. I'm sure they will officially let us know about Moon Knight Season 2 very soon. Then, of course, in May 2025, we have Avengers The King Dynasty. Of course, this is confirmed. In summer 2025, X-Men 97 
the animated series season 2. And yes, a season 2 has already been confirmed. Also, Shang-Chi 2 has been confirmed already, and this is listed for July 2025 so far. This makes sense because we know Shang-Chi is going to be a part of Secret Wars, and we know he's going to have another film before that takes place. It then says we could be getting the Young Avengers, which could be a series, yes. in summer of 2025. We know the Young Avengers are coming, we just don't know when yet, hopefully summer of 2025. Then in fall 2025, the animated series Spider-Man Sophomore Year. This would obviously be a season 2 to Spider-Man Freshman Year, but he would be a sophomore now. Then it has listed for October 2025 a Mephisto special. Now, Whoa. rumor has it that Mephisto is going to be coming in the Iron Heart series, and that he is going to be played by Sasha Baron Cohen. This is pretty much confirmed, but Marvel Studios has not yet officially said anything. But it looks like it is going to happen. Then in November of 2025, we have Armor Wars, which is now going to be a movie, not a show. Winter 2025, a Nomad series. December 2025, an Abomination special. We just saw Abomination in She-Hulk, so it could be very possible that he goes on to get his own special. Now this one is interesting. It says in January of 2026, we could be getting a special called The Conqueror. This would obviously be about Kang, and maybe it would even be about Nathaniel Richards, who goes on to become Kang the Conqueror, when he first discovers time travel. It's unclear on whether or not we're going to see any of that in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, or in the Kang Dynasty. So maybe after the Kang Dynasty, but before Secret Wars, Marvel gives us a special about Kang to show us who he really is. I think that would be really, really cool. Then in summer of 2026, it says we could be getting an Illuminati series. I personally Ooh. think it's only a matter of time until we get an Illuminati team in our main universe, so it just makes sense. Then in February 2026, Eternals 2. We know an Eternals 2 has been confirmed already by Marvel Studios. We just don't know when, although it does make sense that this would happen before Secret Wars because we assume the Eternals will be fighting in the fight. It then says in spring 2026, two different series, one Miss Marvel season two and two World War Hulk, a series. Now, I'm not so sure about World War Hulk being a series. I think it's going to be a film, and even in She-Hulk, Jennifer Walters mentioned a Hulk movie. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be a movie, not a series. But then, of course, in May 2026, to end Phase 6 and the multiverse saga, Avengers Secret Wars. If even half of this is true, which we basically know that half of it is true, this is a pretty dang good Phase 6. There's a lot in here to really look forward to that is really, really exciting. But let's go ahead and jump right into Phase 7 as well. And I should note that moving forward into Phase 7, these are a little bit more unknown, so take these with a grain of salt. But starting it off with what we'll call a rumored list is a Power Pack series. Now, many people might not actually know about the Power Pack. It's a group of family members consisting of Alex, Julie, Jack, and Katie Power. I remember that this was actually rumored to be in development or at least a possibility for Marvel Studios like three, four years ago. And I think it would be a really cool project to see, so hopefully this does eventually come in Phase 7. I don't think it fits anywhere in Phase 5 or Phase 6, so hopefully in the next saga. Then another rumored one is a Secret Warriors series, and this one was mm. also rumored about three years ago as well. Secret Warriors would be cool, but I also wonder if they're kind of putting this with Secret Invasion. However, Quake is a part of the Secret Warriors, and it's been rumored recently that she could be coming back, so fingers crossed. Now this one actually has a date of July 2026, and it is a Namor project, which apparently is pretty confirmed. And yeah, that makes sense because Namor as a villain was incredible. We know in the comics he's a major character in the Marvel Universe and is even a part of the Illuminati, so I'm assuming he'll have a big role in the MCU as well. Then we have a rumored She-Hulk Season 2 that just makes sense. November of 2026, it's interesting that this has an exact date. The X-Men, an X-Men film, I would take this with a grain of salt. We do know a movie for them is coming, we know it's coming after Secret Wars, so Phase 7, but as far as that actual release date goes, take that with a grain of salt. The next two we have listed are Agents of Atlas, a series, and a Photon series. Both of these seem pretty likely. Agents of Atlas was reported on a very long time ago, and Photon, well, we got Photon in WandaVision, and she is also coming in the Marvel, so it would make sense that she would go on to have her own series as well. 
Now the next one is Black Panther 3. Now Ryan Coogler has recently mentioned that he does have ideas for a third Black Panther film. And no spoilers, but if you have seen the movie, you know that it does look like they have plans for not only one other movie, but perhaps a few more. It then says in spring of 2027, we will get a Black Knight series that is currently already in development. Now, if you've seen the Eternals, if you've seen the post credit scene, you know that this is coming. And I'm actually really, really excited for this one. It's a shame we have to wait so long. Then, of course, we have listed Doctor Strange 3. We knew that was coming from the post credit scene of Doctor Strange 2. It then says there is a Squadron Supreme series possibly in development right now. Now, this was reported on this week, I believe. I actually think it was reported on only a couple of days ago. So this is most likely coming in Phase 7, but there is a tiny chance it could possibly come in Phase 6, but I doubt it. I'm assuming Phase 7. Then, of course, a Ten Ring series that was teased after the first Shang-Chi film. We know this is coming. And then this lists a date for October 2027, a Doctor Doom special. Now, I hate this, but this actually does kind of make sense. I hate it because it's so far away, but I don't think Doctor Doom is going to be a big figure relatively soon. I do think they're going to save him as the big bad for the next saga. So having a special introduce him in 2027 might be what we're in for. And then the last two films that it has listed for Phase 7 are an X-Men 2 movie and a Fantastic Four 2 movie as well. Which of course we know that we're going to get. So this list of movies and shows and specials is pretty insane. If even half of these are true, we are in for a really, really big treat with Marvel Studios and the MCU over the next handful of years. It's going to be very, very exciting. But hey, let me know your opinion about all of this in the comments down below. Do you like this list? Would you change anything? Let me know all of your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Yeah, please subscribe, like this video, have a great night. Please like this video.